wanted to show you something very important about gardening, which I just learned last year, and that is the plan. You've heard the saying, fail to plan, plan to fail. Well, you know, that's you can still grow stuff without planning, but you can actually grow a lot more by planning. So I'll show you my plan that I made last year. Um, this is my garden again. You've seen it before, but it's roughly... It's roughly uh, 1,400 square feet, and then before it looked kind of um, just kind of all over the place. So what I did was I here's my plan. I I split up my garden into uh, nine by ten foot plots, um, roughly. So on this one, you can see I grew tomatoes and onions. A lot of these are are uh, kind of companion planting things. This was my oregano and cilantro and, you know, my peppers and then eggplant, beans, dill, onions, my garlic. Um, the X's on top are my blackberries, bush beans, celery, beets. If you can remember these together, I, this is all done by a lot of research of what are companion plants. Tomato, tomato, basil and carrots, spinach, beets, onions, and then these are some of my, if they're circled, that means they're probably uh, perennial that it's there every year. Uh, bush beans, cucumbers, and radishes. Radishes help fight off some of the uh, cucumber beetles. Uh, and bush beans are supposed to help each other grow. It becomes kind of a mess, as I learned last year, to um, to harvest because they become so intertwined. But it's you know it does well. The BB is blueberry. GR is grapes along my fence line. Uh, broccoli and onions and dill and, th and then this. Um, this one right here is my greens bed, which is pretty much always my greens. Um, but the reason I say that is because all of these, what I plan on doing is, is once I have set up my plots like that in these uh, 11 by 11 by 9 plots, I think is what they are actually, uh, then I will rotate them across to different sections. So uh, looking back again at my, at my map, um, this... I'm actually this year going to plant up here, and I'm going to switch these back. The sun generally is this way, so the, uh, I try to plant the short things on this end and tall. And the, as I get further back here, I try to plant taller things so the sun is not being blocked by tall things up front. That's why you'll notice bush beans, cucumbers. I don't trellis my cucumbers. I just let them run on the ground. Um, I had some tomatoes up here, uh, but then... So I think I'm going to do my, I've already planted my broccoli and stuff down here. This will stay the same um, because they're all perennials. And then my tomatoes will go up here. These tomatoes will go up here. My okra, generally I only have one spot for that. That's up against the back row up here. But, um, and then down here I had some wintergreen squash, which winter Greek squash, which will probably just go up to my compost pile now. But you do, you can get a lot more efficiency, um, and plant stacking if you plant it out and so you I have I set up a grid and I planted within that grid so it's something to think about as you go forward it'll allow you to maximize your production uh, and and ability to stack things on top of each other there's a book I, I used called carrots love tomatoes which was to figure out about companion planting did that last year that felt like that worked I don't know if it was because of that or just a better year for it but I'll do the same thing this year, continue to, to cluster different plants that work well together, um, and then see how that works.